Dance break. My name is Jordan, and I'm here in Amsterdam, hence the sign, for an IBC speech with Filmora. So I'm very excited. We're gonna talk about AI and some really cool features that Wondershare is sewing into their product. So I've never picked up any editing software, never did anything until my freshman year of film school. I was tasked with creating a short film and I had no idea what I was doing. And so I got all the locations, the permits, shot the whole thing and I was like, shoot, this is really hard. I don't know if I'm cut out for this filmmaking thing. Went into the editing lab on campus and I pulled up, you know, some editing tutorials on the right, the editing software on the left, and I just started clumsily putting together some footage and it was magical. It was, it was not great, but I had so much fun adding music and, you know, all kinds of effects and it was so fun. I got into that edited lab at probably like 5 p.m. I look up after the clock after a while and it was 5 a.m. So I literally accidentally was editing for 12 hours and I was like, shoot, I think I could probably do this for a long time. Editing is pretty fun. And from then on, I was, I was branding myself as an editor in film school and I got to edit as many projects as I could and eventually started freelance editing after college. Honestly, I think editing is the first time where you get to see the final product. When you're shooting, you don't really know what it's gonna look like at the end. So when you're editing and when you're watching it back, you're seeing the video or the film or the movie, whatever it is, for the first time ever. And so that's so exciting. It's like, wow, this is a real movie. And you're starting to see it, how the audience is gonna see it for the first time. I always say that editing is the, uh, the first pass at how the audience is gonna look at. The editor is the, the audience surrogate, essentially. So that's pretty exciting. I like to keep my videos very clean. I don't like to use a ton of transitions. Um, I do like to create them in camera. We were talking about this, Nico. It's super fun. Um, and so I like to make sure that my videos are frame perfect. And when I say that, I mean that I'm very, very specific on where I want to cut the, the film, where I want the audio to come in. Timing is everything for me. I'm a, I'm a drummer myself, so I really pay deep, deep attention to how things feel and the tempo of things. And so I would say very, ryth very rhythmic and also very clean and precise. That's how I would describe my style. I honestly feel the most creative outside. Heck yeah, we're outside right now. This is awesome. Outside, I feel like I get to connect with nature and I feel like God has made, God is like the most creative being in the universe and he has created trees, he's created so many amazing things and I think that's my source of inspiration. And so it's kind of a bummer that when you're editing, lots of times you think of, oh, I'm gonna be in an edit bay, I'm gonna be inside in the dark. Um, if I could truly be the most creative, I'd be outside on my laptop, just editing away. I try to see what creative things other people have done, and then I try to make it my own and expand on it. I like to use AI image generation. I like to use ChatGPT a ton when ideating, when trying to write scripts, try to figure out um, how to title and caption YouTube videos. That's what, that's what helps me a ton. I personally like whip transitions. So what that means is just moving the camera really fast in certain areas. You could do a whip pan transition specifically in camera where you start your camera here, transition it over, cut it in the middle of the whip, and then start another shot. Start it right here and continue over. And then boom, you have a whip pan transition. It's beautiful. Also, I just like to throw the camera every which way and then just put little tiny clips of that into my videos. I think that's very fun. Um, you could transition to black and then come out of black so you could move the camera into my shirt and then we could be in a dark room or something. That could be interesting. Um, and then lots of times if you didn't get a transition in camera, there's so many that you could use in your, in your editing software. I know Filmora has some really great transitions that just look awesome, especially if you're doing music videos. I love music video transitions, so. A couple things, number one, find a niche, find a topic that you really like to talk about and really niche down and try to get into that niche. Um, and then you'll start building an audience of all of the same people that are really interested in the same thing that you're interested in. And that's very exciting. And then the other biggest thing I would focus on for reels, for YouTube videos, is make sure you have a good intro and a hook. You want to capture people's attention soon and, um, and keep it. So 
The best way to do that, I say, is to raise an interesting question or um, kind of raise something that is unexpected that people might not know or maybe start telling a story that people want to see the end of and then you'll have a great hook. You are the only you in the world. So everybody's gonna make this, like say we're all shooting a vlog, every single vlog is gonna be different. If we're all at the same location, say we were all here at IBC, we're all shooting a vlog, everybody's vlog is gonna be completely different because you're different. And so that's what's gonna make you stand out is being true to yourself, being authentic and using your voice and telling your story. That's, that's honestly the best way to do it. Don't try to be somebody else, just be you.